How we doing? Welcome back, everybody. Thank you. Okay. Much better, right? Good. What happened was, um, my phone was overheating. What's up, Chucker? Welcome back. Okay. I don't see anyone in my paypal.me backslash brother bank, so I don't know who's up next. But I am offering a card. Um, if you need to go more in depth, please email me, Skype me, whatever. This is a, um, that's all right. It's a, it's a free, um, it's a free gospel ministry. That's all right. But I do encourage donations if you can. Okay, so let's get you a card. Uh, so definitely subscribe to this uh, channel. Definitely um, follow Brother Dank everywhere. Let's get you a card there, Florida. Okay, we've got um, the Five of Wands. I've been going with the Upside Down as something of a resistance. Probably something maybe from your past. That, um, that we're considering right now. Probably some resistance in the past. And honestly... The way this is looking, weird. Okay, so this this devil, he's just poking this guy in the back. That's all he's doing. It's like, is he helping him stand up straight? No, he can lean on that pole. This devil's just poking this dude in the back. This angel right here is like helping him hold that thing up or whatever. So he's like, he's casting, right? These are the wands. So you always have the balance with the five. Like you might have like three and two. So you're gonna look for the. Uh, he is making it hard on. So you're gonna want to look for the uh, how things are divided. You want them to be rightly divided. But the five of wands says, the beginning of a quarrel is like water that overflows with no control, spouts off at, at the at the mouth there. Flee before it overruns its banks and overtakes you. Oh my god. I don't know why that happened. You're a Christian too. Cool, cool. So look, man, when you see this thing start to bubble over, that devil ain't doing nothing but poking you in the back, man. He ain't helping you at all. So flee. That's what that one says, man. That's what that one says right there. And honestly, a lot of these have biblical interpretations. A lot of these tarot's are actually on the uh, uh, writings of Solomon, King Solomon. That's where a lot of this comes from. Book of Samuel, a lot of this. Okay. Um... That's a pretty good card to start off with. It's probably um, and so in the past you probably had tr trouble with that. Um, but now you know to run. Now you know to run. More lag. Oh lord. Okay. Well, something did come up. That was weird. Okay. I think the lag's fixed now, though. Lag should be fixed. Okay. Let's get you one more card. Um, some you're dealing with right now again. Two of wands. Okay. He who frequents wise men will become wise. He who frequents fools will act foolishly. He who follows wicked men will become wicked. So, flee from the problems. Surround yourself with the wise ones who are not wicked or foolish. Be wise. Surround yourself with these people who are wise. See, this devil's actually helping this dude to an extent. This angel is helping him. Be wise. Okay. Let's get you one more. King of Pentacles. Now, I see, I will. No one knows I will. And so, you see, the Pentacles is about where you bank. Yes, you may get on the wish. Stylus Grace, you may. You may. Thank you so much for your your kind and polite question. Cam, um, you're on the list. If you want to uh, paypal.me backslash brother dank, uh, you'll definitely be on the list, and I'll see it, and we'll definitely get to you right after we do this other guy. But I am asking everyone to donate tonight. But we'll get you some a card too, regardless, Cam, because we love you for sure. It's a free gospel. Okay, so you want to know where you're banking with, man. The King of Pentacles has all the wisdom. He stopped with the foolishness. He stopped with the wickedness. He did the wisdom. That's why he's sitting in the kingship position. Okay? Now, let's see what the book says about the king. The rich man who errs, who, who makes an error, has many champions. But remember, it is better to be silent 
than to praise a dishonest man. Sooner or later, he too shall fail. So in wisdom, you're not going to praise somebody who did wrong, you know? So look, coming up in the future, if you want to like get this stuff right, don't praise, don't praise someone who's a, who's a jerk. Don't, uh, don't be a champion of someone who is an evildoer or a foolish one, okay? Because all these people are going to fail and you done wasted your time. You bank with the wrong fellow, okay? All right. Um, and we could take this further, you guys, for sure. But let me get on JL right here. This one's for JL. That was cool. These these just came up. Okay. You're coming on the uh you're coming on the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. The causes of good and evil are always hidden. Human deeds demonstrate only the effects of one or the other. So the what caused the good? What caused the good? Or evil is not necessarily apparent, but our deeds demonstrate the effects of these things. It's like the invisible hand is moving things, okay? And human deeds are, are making evidence of this, and their and their reactions to and their whatever caused them to be good or evil. Then human deeds demonstrate how evil and good interplay right now, okay? But it's very mysterious. So this night right here, what's up, Rasta? This guy right here is riding through, okay? But, you know, he's soldiering on. He's gaining wisdom. He's gaining wisdom. He's banking with the right folks. And But really, it's about acquiring wisdom right now. So this may be, maybe where you're coming from right now. Some of the, your, your, uh, your energy is leading into this. You just didn't extravagantly good for an appreciative friend. You see that? You see that? And, but it's not like you would take that good deed back. You know, I'm trying to do the same thing. Honestly, this is why I'm periscoping right now because I got to go get a ride across the river to go peel my friend off the sidewalk. That's why we're doing this right now. PayPal.me backslash brother Nate. Okay. Coming up next. Ooh, the eight of chalices. What a good number. That's your infinity number. This guy, he's got all his cups lined up. And look, he's looking at the stars. So this is kind of where you're at right now. This is what you're going to need to do to be like healthy and advance on your path. And you want to acknowledge all the blessings and line them up. The eight of chalices says, endeavor to look far ahead. Look down the road here into space and time. Seek to understand the changes that tomorrow will bring and prepare yourself to face them today. Nice. So, oh wait, so this guy, the knight in his wisdom, he's looking down the road, man. He's planning, he's seeing, he's seeing this stuff coming. There's not gonna be any confusion, there's not gonna be any, any surprises, there's only going to be effective planning for glory and majesty and goodness. And who's coming up down the pipe? Seven, seven of Pentacles. All right, this is coming up for you soon, man. It's coming up for you soon because you're uh because you see it because you see it you're looking for it. Look what comes up. You're seven of Pentacles, and here you are. You seek within yourself the energy to undo knots. The fire that fuels knowledge transforms lead into lead into gold. So you see that he's consulting with the uh, he's consulting with the angel right here. The angel's like telling him, just giving him all the secrets. He's untying it, he's unpacking it, he's dealing through it, and he's got the Midas touch. He's the alchemist in this circumstance. He's turning bad into good. Do you hear me? You thought you weren't a, uh, you thought you weren't appreciated. You thought you weren't appreciated in your good deed, man. Your good deeds are turning bad into good all day long, man. So keep that up. Isn't that nice? Okay, so we'll let you screenshot these. Let's just screenshot these. These all came up straight. They all came up straight. Mm -hmm. Just like that. I don't know if you got the screenshot. But if you want to screenshot it, you may. There you go. And, um... Got it. Okay. And uh, do PayPal me if that blessed you. And uh, if you guys want to book a little bit more time and stuff like that you know, i would be happy to like we can meditate on this and make this like a really powerful thing beyond what it's already done you know what i'm saying okay also with us you guys cam is here cam checked in and out but she's back um rasta homer's here uh rasta homer's familiar with uh some other uh folks that i work with other communities 
got me saving file wonderful because we didn't even get it to jesus's weed or target individual or anything okay stylish grace is here <laughs> and we'll do this for her rasta if you want a card or two let me know um or uh honestly we're doing this to help people this last reading was all about helping people and good versus evil pay it forward you guys just like we're trying to do paypal.me backslash brother dank give what you can it's all uh, received with love. What's up, Aaron? What's up, Daniel? He's commercial pilot. Cool. Um, who's next? Oh, I see who's next. I see who's next. Excuse me. Excuse me. Cam is going to be next. Who's next? I'm trying to get this right. Okay. I'm just going to do a quick one, Cam. We're kind of running out of steam here. If y'all don't mind, we're going uh, to give thanks right quick. Again, if you haven't used the PayPal me tonight, I'm trying to get across the river to peel my friend off the sidewalk. Peel my friend off the sidewalk, okay? So I'm trying to do... It doesn't make a lot of sense to do so because I'm missing out on my day job by going over there. So that's why I'm trying to, you know, bring all this up because we're in it together. I'm about to read for Cam. And we'll get you some cards. Okay, Cam, whatever is the problem or the thing or the, the vision or the dream that you want, let's bring it in now. And we're looking at, ooh, nice. The Hierophant. The Hierophant. What we have here is the, uh, the Hierophant. You got a black sheep. You got a white sheep. You got the two pillars. We've got... The keys. We got the keys. Oh, we got the checkerboard. Okay. And the Hierophant keys you to observe conflicting reasonings. Look at both sides. But don't give in to the temptation to, to pick a side or choose the side. Your judgment has to be beyond taking a side. You can't just root for one or the other. <clears throat> you can't even be emotionally invested when it comes to judgment. You have to be wise. So this is probably setting you up for um, this is like the uh, this is like the basis of things. You know, you have some wise judgment. It's also setting you up to prepare, probably wh where you're at right now. What's coming up down the pipe as far as developing your dream and um, manifesting your vision and bringing love into your life. Okay, you have to look at things without. Without emotional investment, and you have to almost reserve your judgment until you know you're passing right judgment. And there's not really a lot of emotional investment. It's a, it's a critical analysis that you need to do here. And you're good at it. Here's what's coming up now. Ooh, man, this is where you're sitting right now. This came up earlier. This is a beautiful card. This is the Queen of Pentacles. Let me tell you about this, sister. See this lady right here? Okay. Now, what she did was, as the Hierophant, it put her in good position to be in queenship right now. This is the, all the war of the heavens, man. This is like the whole host of angels and demons battling it out. And what is it? What does a queen have to do with that battle, man? Because the queen in her wisdom, as a knowledge keeper, as uh, the word keeper, as the, uh, as the intention manifester, right? The dreamer. You see, this is like a field of poppies right here. What she's doing is she's trying to decide how she's going to invest her wealth. She's deciding who she's going to bank with. And in deciding that, Cam, in deciding who she's going to bank with, she ends up winning this battle up here, right? That's where all her wealth is. It's in the spiritual realm. It's in doing right. It's in righteousness. It's in the vision itself, right? That's where she's doing all the work. Let's see what's coming up with that. Don't you love it? Isn't that beautiful? Ho! Oh, here's what's coming up. A five of wands. Now, this is an interesting... Now, the wand's going to be about your magic. You see a youthful thing right here. Fives is all about the split. Is it three? Is it two? How does it work for me? Look at this magical casting system. Here's what the five of wands said. And this is probably like a project that's coming up for the queen. You know, it's going to have to use some discernment on. Uh, but the five of wands alerts you to the beginning of a quarrel. We did this earlier. Okay, gotcha. So the beginning of a quarrel, it's like a, a, a floodgate of, of spewed garbage. 
and it really does threaten to annihilate you. See these kids just throwing sticks, man. Just throwing sticks. So what this is advising you to do is flee, okay? Okay, so that's real. So like probably coming up in the future, if you see people get angry, and honestly, sometimes there's no cure for the moment of anger. There's no relief for the moment of spewed garbage. There's no stop in the flow. It's like going to overtake you. So it's saying, get out of here, kid. Beat it. Just beat it. You know? But you want to be bad. So beat it. Beat it. No one wants to be defeated. Just beat it. All right, queen? All right, queen? All right. Beat it. Because the queen ain't got no time for that. Queen ain't got no time for that. Queen ain't got no time for that. You heard me? Look. He sees what's up. He's out of here. He's out of here. You got better things to do. I hope that was helpful. I really hope it was. It's always helpful for me to read. Okay, who's up next? Who else needs some? Cam, do PayPal me, baby, if you can. If you can, Cam. Because I gotta go help these people. The last card was kind of confining, wasn't it? Okay, you need another one. It kind of confused you, right? Okay, so basically this is just, honestly, this last card is kind of like, it's nothing crucial that I feel. But if you see a gang of kids about, man, you know better. You know what I'm saying? Trust your judgment there. Just So just, I would say be on the look. Be on the look for something that ain't quite right. That ain't, that ain't fucking adding up. That the queen doesn't like the looks of. Go with that and get out of there. Let's bring you up one more card just to clarify. Because I don't like to be, there to be a whole lot of confusion. Ooh. Justice. Okay, but that's probably relevant to this question. Look, in your pursuit of justice. In your pursuit of justice. Because that's what the queen was made here. That's what this that's what this is about. Justice. That's what this whole war is about. That's, that's who is in charge of justice as well. Administering it out here. This guy's interested in justice. Okay, so... Watch out for these gangly ones, but justice is what you're ultimately looking for. And Lady Justice, let me tell you. Lady Justice, who's number 11. She said, endeavor to understand the dual truths. The dual truths. Of good and evil. Passion and rationality or romance and reason. Love and reason. And see a balance in those opposites. You see? So, now as far as the balance goes, let me advise you. Because you can't do nothing against this, man. There's no balance to this. Let me admit this freely. There's no balance here. But let me show you where the balance is here. Because in Right Judgment, sister, if you are in your queen's ship, you know, you see these guys going on. You can't really jump into the group. But when you catch one of these little dudes by themselves, queen, you give them a good spanking. And you say, you should be ashamed of yourself. You're, you're raised from good family. You need to do right. That's where you act right now. Bringing justice, man. You're like, look. You're gonna, you're gonna, honestly, you're going to help these you can help these little children out here. Bring peace and justice into the world by ending this nonsense right here. Once it's safe to do so. You hear me, queen? Does that make more sense now? Does that help clarify? Thank you so much. I know you're gonna be back soon. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it again as we go through it. Okay, now we just got Trucker up in here, and thank you for donating. Now we got Trucker up in here. Trucker, if you want one, let me know. If not, we're gonna shut it down. This is a great opportunity to shut it down. If we don't hear from Trucker. PayPal.me, backslash brother bank. That's where it's at. Um, thank you for being here. Stay up. Stay positive. Be good. Be well. Do right and fear no man. 